Andy Milanakis. I like to combine cheap grocery items with rare and fancy things because it turns me on. I'm the Fat Prince! Welcome to Fat Prince with my guests, John and Vinny from the lovely restaurant Animal, where they serve animals, <laughs> right? <laughs> right now we're gonna be making golden pig fried rice with rice aroni and spam. The super chefy gourmet ingredients are pig ears and a little 23 carat edible gold leaf. 23 carat. Uh, we got it at Canal Street in New York. <laughs> we got it shipped off on a drone. So we got some grocery ingredients. We got some fancy smanty ingredients. We got the purple haze basil, sriracha, peanuts, peas, broccoli, egg. And we have carrots, onion, and we got some jalapenos. What should we do first? We should start our rice aroni. It's okay to cut on the counter. Yeah, yeah, do whatever. <laughs> I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> All right, the rice is looking shitty. <laughs> let's, let's stir that shit in a little bit. Cutting all the veg up. Cut that veg up. When was the last time you cut up that veg? Don't worry about that. I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Can you twerk on this for a minute? <laughs> Shake your ass on it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I present to you rich motherfuckers of the world a plate of spam. If this was like the most rare fucking cut of meat on earth and it looked like this, every motherfucker on earth would want it. Because it costs $1.69 in the grocery stores. <laughs> we deem it ghetto. So we got spam, we got rice cooking. We should probably cook the broccoli. We'll do like 34%. I'll fish it out and put it right into this bowl and then. Uh... Fish it out. I'm dropping broccoli. It's like little koi fish swimming all around. Ooh, pig ears. All I hear is dirty Americans talking about how great bacon is. It hurts my little pork ears. Is it hard to find pig ears at butchers? Um, I think, you know, there's only two ears on every head, so it gets a little tricky. They're not in abundance. God damn, Andy, there's the peas. Frozen peas in the water. Frozen peas in Frozen the water. peas actually can be better than fresh sometimes. Yeah, because they freeze them at the absolute peak. peak. Yeah. Come on, man, I know a couple things about a couple things. <laughs> Basically, the plan is to par cook everything off and then fold it into the rice aroni. So I was gonna cook off the eggs right now and the veg and have it all in this bowl. And then we're gonna mix it all together. We got our fucking spam cooking. Let me do this. Give so. a flip. Yep, there you go. You practice with like beans at your house with all that free time you have. <laughs> How do you know I have free time? I, I have a very important business of playing video games and smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot there. I mean, How long like... do pig ears take to fry? One minute? I would well, say, I depends would say on the fryer. This minutes. might take a couple minutes. I never owned me one of these. Uh, Little fry daddies? Deep fry professional. <laughs> Maybe I'll get you one for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet of you. <laughs> Thanks. So we're mixing the rice aroni with the carrots, the spam, and the onions. I'm gonna put some peas in. All right. Vinny's putting Not all peas of in. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, that's good. Yeah. We got crispy fried pig ears. We got some peanuts. Put that yonder, like so. We got a little bit of Thai basil, okay. And then this cap was completely off. You were trying to set me up for failure. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Now first we're gonna do a little squirrely squiggly design. <laughs> and then we got some California love. <laughs> Golden pig delicious. Dinner's done, so let's introduce my nice, famous friend, David Keckner. Here, have a seat, young man. Come on, friends from Animal, sit okay. down. We got the golden pig fried rice, and I'm gonna get it for you guys right now. And the maitre d' is also a waiter and the chef. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's a real right mom now. and pop kind of job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right about now. This is more like a truck stop than a uh, <laughs> fine dining experience. <laughs> I know you're a harsh critic, 
Mr. Keckner. You have to give us a rating. And it has to be honest, can't be kiss-assy, or it can't be so low just because you're being a wise-ass. I am gonna kiss-ass a little, I love these guys. Uh, yeah, they're great. Yeah, so there's a little bit of that in there. But this is, it's got a lot of great flavor. Plus, this is something I would've made, like either cubed ham or spam with rice -roni. Yeah, and then you have something that you don't get to eat every day, which is fried pig ears. No. Unless you're unless these you're, guys. Or unless you're a fan of pork rinds. Or you work the station at Animal. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys have pig ear a lot? Every it's night. one of our top selling dishes. That right? That's how I came up with the pig ear idea because I've eaten there and one of my favorite dishes was chili lime pig ear that they make. But I really fucking like this. It came out way better than I thought even. I'm actually really excited to see these gold flecks in a couple days. We get a shit gold. That's what a prince really gets to do. I have um, questions that you guys can ask each other. Okay. And um, just in case you guys were rushed for time, I wrote the questions. So, <laughs> okay. Am I asking together or Yeah, individual? ask them together. How would you cook Wilbur from Charlotte's Web? Probably Whoa. spit roast. Same thing, spit roast and slow. Mmm, is acting good. Yeah, I love acting. Makes you rich, right? My solo's rich. And right now, my colon is rich because the gold is working its way down the gold, there. The gold, the gold. Golink! Which would you rather hit with a bat? A pinata filled with vegetables or a vegan filled with vegetables? <laughs> <laughs> if I was allowed to hit a vegan with a bat, I would take great pleasure in that. A yes. live a live vegan, okay. So, right. uh, we've heard you shot a movie with Andy before. Mm -hmm. That must have been the best moment of your life. <laughs> it certainly is way up there. This is not a question. I want to fuck you like an animal. Just respond however you like, however you want. I told Vinny that if he came here that he could ride Andy. Oh, okay. Like, like a, a horse. <laughs> Thank you for our guests, the lovely chefs from Animal and owners from Animal and Son of the Gun and a, a million other restaurants. And Mr. David Keckner, who's a funny motherfucking actor. <laughs> Mazel tov. Man, you're a true baller, Andy. Being able to blow gold like that. You're just blowing gold. <laughs> God, it's raining gold. It is fucking raining gold. All of your cooking shows fucking suck. It's raining gold on my head. You're not as good as me.